We are the representatives from St. John's Institution. I'm Nyong. This is Quet and Ilan, my teammates. Today, we're going to talk about cluster hooks. First, we're going to take a look at problems faced by residents living in cluster hooks. Next, solution to overcome those problems. And last, we're going to take a look at model, which combines all the solutions that we stated. So, as you can see here, for the problems that the residents are facing now, first of all is high rise in temperature during El Nino phenomenon. And the second one is uh, windows are only in the front part of the home and only one door for exit and entrance. You can uh, solve these problems using multiple methods such as using uh, high specific heat capacity materials such as concrete and bricks and we can use uh, we can install ceiling fans to reduce the amount of heat in the roof. We can also paint the house in white so that we can reduce the amount of heat absorbed by the house. Uh, next we can also plant veins so that we can uh, we can shade the house from any sort of sunlight and stop the heat from uh, being absorbed. We can also use bamboo sheets to, uh, for bedding so that we can absorb the heat, body heat, the heat from our body so that we can stay cold. So now let's, let's take a look at the model that includes the plant base, ceiling fan, the blue bedding. Yeah. So this is the overall view of the model that we have created. We have created. As you can see, there are veins behind the wall, more windows are equipped, and there's a huge door in front of it. As for ceiling fans, you can see here, this is our design for the ceiling fan. Secondly, pound veins around uh, our plant around the walls and the windows. Besides that we also added bamboo bedding so that we could feel cool when we are sleeping. Well that's basically all for our presentation. I hope that these informations are useful for residents living in cluster groups. That's all. Thank you.